Hi, this is Beth McKinney for FacePaint.com, and today we're going to talk about cleaning our brushes. So right here I have my work surface, and this is usually the way I have things set up for an event. I have three water wells, and the first one I use brush bath inside it so that it creates uh, soapy water that I can use to clean my brushes. So I put some brush bath in it. My second well is for rinsing my brushes after I've cleaned them with soap. And then my third well is straight water. And I don't have a lot of water in any of these, primarily because I would never want to spill a lot of anything inside a client's home. So I try to minimize that by keeping my amounts pretty low. Um, but of course what that means is there's not a lot of soapy water here to clean with. So I change my water out a couple times during an event, depending on the length of the event. The longer the event, the more times I will change the water. And um, usually I change all the waters when I do that. I have a large container that I can pour them into and get fresh water. So something else to keep in mind, like I said that I use brush bath. If you are not in the United States, you are going to need to check on the, the rules and regulations for your country. Canada has different regulations when it comes to face painting. In the United States, we can self-regulate quite a bit, but the better we do that, the less likely we are to get a lot of rules and regulations. But in Canada, they do have more stringent regulations for cleaning brushes, what you have to put them in as you're cleaning. So wherever you are located, make sure you check for those regulations so you know what applies to you and so that you can follow them. So there are a lot of different things you can do as far as cleaning your brushes but as I said I use a brush bath which is organic cleaner and it's water sanitizer it's also makeup remover so it's very safe if some of it happens to get on the skin but it's also a good soap for cleaning your brushes. Something that I do for deep cleaning my brushes um, is I'll use rubbing alcohol. This is 91% that I use for airbrushing, but I also have 70%, more likely to use the 70% for cleaning my brushes, just to make sure they're very disinfected. The only thing with rubbing alcohol is that it can be a little bit hard on your brushes, so just know that over time you may have to replace them. Um, other options that are available, some people in the United States also use vinegar or hot vinegar. Um, some people also like to use uh, wipes that are antibacterial for cleaning their brushes on during events. Um, so that's an option. So whatever you do, just make sure that you choose something that thoroughly cleans your brush, thoroughly rinses your brush, and that you have clean water for use when you're actually dipping your paints and going to the person's face. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions that you'd like to hear something about, please write a comment. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.